to know your colleagues, you get to know the work you're doing as well as getting an education. Even though at times it can be quite hard work and you, you know, feel like you've really accomplished something at the end of it. I think I've improved a lot since I started, like both knowledge and like as a person as well. So. It's qualifications with money and getting into a workplace. People always, always need houses built etc. Um, so I think it is vital, like I said, for people to keep getting involved in trade. Something different, hands on all the time, learning whilst you're working, there's always something new every day. Having an apprenticeship, you're busy all through the day so you're not wasting your money and there's a bit of money waiting at the end of it. The fact that I haven't gone to university straight away is still likely that I'll actually do a full degree. I think it's really important now for employers to take apprenticeships seriously. If we want the staff who've got the right skills, then the only way to do that is to train them. If we're going to bring ourselves out of this recession, then we're going to have to manufacture and work our way out of it. And I think without a platform of the right skill sets, we're going to struggle as a country to be able to do that. What we're trying to make sure is that we actually develop the skills of the employees within this country so that we can actually look at opportunities nationally and internationally and make sure that businesses can grow and develop. We've seen quite a substantial rise in apprenticeships over the last three to five years. Typically our first year intake used to range between 20 to 30 apprentices. That increased up to between 50 and 60 and numbers typically at the moment between 80 and 90. It enables us to get a, a trained workforce of young people who know the company processes and procedures uh, and then in due course we can bring into the company. Uh, it's absolutely not about being the tea boy or tea girl. Uh, it's about gaining experience. Our apprentices cover the wide range of council services from environmental health to elections and beyond um, and they are uh, trained and developed in, in those disciplines. If we've got better uh, qualified people coming up through the ranks manufacturing industry stands to benefit from that. Hopefully we can get back some of the manufacturing that's gone, gone abroad. There's a lot of myth and a lot of perception around the cost of running an apprenticeship and, and the difficulty in it. It's not that difficult. Uh, you're going to get somebody that's homegrown, you're going to get somebody that's keen and they show incredible loyalty to companies that they've been taken on by. It's, it's the work that I want to be in so obviously when, when you're in a job that you want to be in um, that makes things a lot better. Being involved with me in everything, meetings, anything that was going, I was there and I felt just like a team member, I didn't feel any different at all. You meet a lot of friends along the way. It's, it's been such a friendly atmosphere and learning new skills is, is definitely something that I'm glad I've done. I've learnt more from being around people and working than I would have done in the classroom. There aren't any sort of glass ceilings these days and I think we're fairly typical as companies, you come in and where you get to as an, in a company is really a function of what you actually bring to the company and how successful you are as an individual. It's not just a fashionable thing to do, there are real genuine business benefits of doing it. <laughs>